we are going to replace this curb with a mortar curb. Uh, we're going to go rapid set, 6,500 PSI. The reason I'm going rapid set is because you could pour it under two inches. We'll come back and we'll fix uh, this foundation. See the anchors are into nothing really because it's broken. So I'll show you how I'm going to fix this after I get the curb done. Because we want the wood off off the concrete. So we're going to get rid of all this. It's going to be a new mortar curb. That's just not the idea. I have completely gone. I don't even think that's pressure treated. Maybe it's just regular wood. This is exposed to the elements. Completely rotted. That was the adjustable door seal for the threshold that is no longer attached. Completely rotted, obviously water. Um, your issue is concrete at the top is sloping to the house. Um, down here, it's sloping away and it's sloping down this way. But the top section is sloping to the house. That's really bad. There we go. Take it out. Give us some room here. Make sure if these are supporting something that you fasten some kind of support up there. Alright, if you're cutting any anchors off like this or those, make sure you get a carbide thing that's going to cut heavy metal. Make sure it's really clean. Uh, if you have to grind it, uh, grind it. All right, we're gonna grind some of this dirt away. Clean it up. Cleaner, the better. Grind with water to keep all the dust down. Let's go jug with the hole. All right, so be careful not to use too much water if you're gonna pour away. We don't want it all going under the floor. And we also have scrub to help the scrub the concrete. Alright, check out the support. We're just supporting it off the rough end. All screwed in. Give us a completed gap to work so we can work. I'm going to screw this in to the 2x4. Give it just slightly off level. So what I'm going to do, since it's still free, I'm going to pick it up, set, and then I'll screw it in level. All right, this is what we did for the back. Quarter, it's a quarter inch plywood. It's going to be permanent. It's, the flooring is low here, high in the center, and then it's high. So flooring's high, flooring, flooring low, we need curb level. We need it level across, but then we need it to pitch forward. So you just got a little pitch forward because I'm going to put the uh, sill pan on. It needs to leak out. Now we're going to install some anchors so that the mortar has something to uh, hold on to. Alright, when you reach this part, make sure you have absolutely everything ready. Because this is rapid set that I'm using. You do not have time for a single mistake. First, we gotta wet the concrete. Uh, make it damp, no puddles. Then we'll make our slurry with this adhesive. And then we'll brush it on. And as soon as we get that brush on, we'll dump in our bag. We'll do 
three quarters of the bag because this is 2.2 cubic feet and this is half a cubic foot so we're going to do three quarters so we have extra because there's no adding extra at the end for this for for bonding it says to use one part cement two parts sand and then this and to a creamy paint consistency we are just going to use our mortar mix we're just going to throw it in there after we mix it and then we're going to mix it with water and it'll be good to go Remember to keep the surface damp for the first hour. Just put some water on it. Yeah. It'll just keep it uh, a sheen. You don't have to have like a puddle, but just like spray it down so it doesn't dry out uh, for the first hour. I actually didn't realize it. It's actually hot. It's like 50 degrees outside, but this is like 85, 90 degrees. Right after about 30 minutes, I pull the form off. Give it a little tap that way. Tap that way. There we go. Turn out pretty good. Mm, we could always come back and uh, throw this in at the end. Oh yeah, that's hot. The whole thing is hot. Like the water's already draining off the put on there. All right, it's been a, it's been an hour. We can put it into use. I'm not going to put it to use yet. This way you can see where it's drying. We had to keep it wet for the hour so that it cures properly. Um, this mix was super hot because I had to wet it like 10 times and it got extremely hot. But now, if you need to put it into use, it can hold 2,500 PSI uh, after one hour. Three hours is 4,000 PSI.